This easy, no need bread recipe will help you make beautiful bread with that crispy, crunchy crust and very tender, soft and delicious crumb inside. This recipe requires no kneading, no overnight proofing, no complicated shaping and less mess while making. And you can make oven fresh, rustic artisan bread in less than 4 hours. And in this video, we'll see how to make this bread in a Dutch oven. And we'll also see how to make this on a regular baking tray without a Dutch oven. So let's see how to make this crusty, no need artisan bread in five simple steps. To make this bread, we'll need only a few basic ingredients some flour, water, sugar and salt to add taste and yeast as a leavening agent. So let's start by preparing our bread dough. Into a bowl I'm adding flour, yeast, sugar, And salt and I'm giving it a good whisk to make sure all our ingredients are evenly distributed in the flour and now add the water and here I've used a room temperature water as it is pretty hot in here Yeast always love a sweet and warm environment to bloom up. So keep in our mind not to use very cold water as it will inactivate the yeast and also not to use hot water as it will kill the yeast buds and our dough will not be able to rise. So use water which is lukewarm. We should be able to comfortably feel the warmth of the water with our hands. I mix everything together and make sure there are no dry patches left behind and that's it. Our bread dough is ready and now we need our dough to rise beautifully. So wrap it with a plastic film and keep it in a warm environment for the dough to rise. Usually I keep it in the oven light. And after two hours, our dough has risen well. And before going to the next step, let's preheat the oven to 450 Fahrenheit. As we are using Dutch oven to make this bread, we need to preheat the Dutch oven too. So place the Dutch oven inside our oven and start preheating. So now on to the next step, that is to shape our bread dough. So transfer the dough onto a floured work surface. And dust the top of the dough with some more flour. Our bread dough is well hydrated and so it is very sticky to handle. So dust the dough with enough flour and we can use a bench scraper or something similar to that or we can use our hands to shape our dough. Here I'm stretching the dough and folding it onto itself. Our objective is to form a tensive ball of dough. So tuck in the edges towards the center and roll it into the shape of a ball. Now place this into a bowl lined with a parchment paper for the final pricing. This parchment paper will help us to transfer the dough into the dash oven safely. As my bowl is a shallow one, there are chances that the dough may get stick to the plastic film when it rises. So I'm greasing the plastic film with some oil to prevent that.
so wrap it with a plastic film and let the dough sit and rise in a warm environment for about 35 minutes or until they get doubled in size Now our dough has risen well and here I'm sprinkling the top with some sesame seeds. I love the smell and flavor of toasted sesame seeds on top of bread. And using a sharp knife, let's coat the surface of the bread. I've applied some oil on the sides of the knife so that it won't stick to the dough. Now our bread dough is ready to go into the oven. So I'm transferring this into the preheated Dutch oven. At this point, we need to be very careful as the Dutch oven is pretty hot. And then close the port with the lid and take it back into the oven and bake for 30 minutes with that lid on. Then remove the lid and reduce the oven temperature to 400 degree Fahrenheit and then bake for another 8 to 12 minutes. And after baking, we'll get a beautiful golden brown crusty bread. Take it out of the pot and let it cool down for a few minutes and you can still hear the crackling sound of that oven fresh bread and this bread is best to slice when they are just cold fresh and slightly warm i love this kind of bread with that thin crunchy golden brown crust with that nutty flavor and with that airy soft and tender crumb inside and this bread goes well with even plain butter or with some olive oil or with any of your favorite soups or salads the bread is slightly chewy and they are so flavorful and perfect texture Now we'll see how to make crusty bread without a Dutch oven in a regular baking tray. Take a baking tray and line it with a parchment paper. So prepare the dough as we did in step 1 and then proof them. And here is the proofed dough. So let's transfer this onto a floured work surface and shape it into any shape that you prefer. I shaped into an oval shape just stretch and fold it onto itself to form a ten sieve mass of dough and then transfer this onto a baking tray and dust the top with some more flour and then cover it with a clean kitchen towel and we need to let it sit and rise for about 35 minutes so now our dough has risen so score the top of the bread using a sharp knife and now it's ready to go into the preheated oven and here is where we need to help the bread to bake beautifully so steam is the key factor for baking crusty breads so to create steam inside the oven place a pan of hot water on the bottom rack of the oven and spray water inside the oven in the initial few minutes of baking this will help to create a steamy environment inside the oven 
so bake at 450 fan height for 30 minutes or until they are golden brown in color So after baking, we'll get a crusty bread with a soft crumb inside. So we can make crusty bread even without a Dutch oven. Hope this video helped you and hope you will make this bread at home and I'm sure you will love it. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and please share this recipe with your friends and family who love baking bread at home. And thank you so much for your love and support. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.